All right. Uh, hello, everyone. And uh, thank you for watching this video and also using Evo Mars. And in this video, I will talk about the new updates in the uh, the new upgrades in the Evo Mars for the version 0.3.1. And uh, we'll very briefly go through the, some changes and uh, help you to better lever leverage the Evo Mars in your design. So the the most uh, upgrade uh, the, the most upgrade in this version is in the evolutionary uh, algorithm component or the SSIA component. So the first uh, the first upgrade is that the, in this version you can uh, connect uh, multiple uh, parameters from uh, uh, to the uh, to the evolutionary algorithm component and then uh, some of them can be the fitness or the objective and some of them can be the uh, other value you might be interested to uh, record during the optimization process. So this function can replace the previous function, uh, the previous component called the recorder. So uh, so this make the whole much more integrated. So here you can see in this example, I already connected uh, four uh, different uh, parameters here. So, but I can also uh, disconnect it all and then just show you uh, again how to do it. So uh, <clears throat> when, you connect it, uh, when you connect this parameter, the first thing you need to uh, label uh, this, uh, uh, this parameter. For example, if you uh, here, I already changed the name here, it's called, uh, called this one called fitness and this one called the punishment and this one called the total sunlight hour because the, uh, the the, the SSIA component need to use this uh, information to label your uh, value. Otherwise, you cannot see uh, which value uh, uh, is uh, indicate which uh, parameter. And also for some cases like this one, the I, you cannot change the name. In that case, you can just uh, create a number here and then you just connect the number and then you can uh, change the name here. So, uh, all right. And firstly, you, you don't need to worry about the sequence of the connection. You can just uh, connect uh, each of them. And then when you uh, open the SSIA here, you will uh, immediately see the, uh, the the name of the the name the value and the type of them, and here you can see the fitness is already uh, in the first uh, in here, and also the total uh, sunlight hour is already uh, recognized, and also the punishment and the GFA. And if you want to run the multi object optimization, you can also change the value here to the fitness and also change the direction. Uh, but if you just want to record them, you can just leave it as a value. So, uh, and, but for the moment, the EVO mass, uh, the SSIA only support up to two objectives. So if you uh, make here with three objectives, I guess it will be have uh, some uh, warning message so that you need to uh, change one of them to a value and to keep the uh, the number of fitness uh, under two. And all right, and the other uh, major uh, improvement is that uh, uh, in this version, the evil mass, uh, during the optimization process, the evil mass will automatically uh, do the screen catch and then uh, also will provide you a preview in the, uh, uh, in the result viewer. So here I already uh, run the optimization and here we can load, load the result. And this one is already run. Uh, so you already record the image. So if you, uh, you also uh, do the same, but, uh, and here you can see there is a new option here, say the screenshots, and also you can choose the size of the a screenshot to ensure that uh, how many memories 
uh, you want to use to record all this uh, uh, image. So when you go to the, uh, the, uh, the result panel, and then you can uh, uh, just place your mouse in each of the item, and then you can see the preview of the, this, uh, uh, of this design during the optimization process. And uh, also this uh, <coughs> image will be also restored in the backup file, in the image file. So uh, you don't need to uh, reinstate the design and run all my error simulation if uh, you, you just need to use this uh, image as a, a result visualization. And the other uh, uh, upgrade is about the color. So in in the new version of the UMS, I changed the color uh, of the uh, this light and also in many other uh, uh, analyze, uh, including improvement analyze. And then here, because we are, uh, I introduced the recording of the uh, the other relevant uh, value. So in here, you can also uh, we also add this function into the uh, the. Uh, this uh, uh, coordinate, uh, this parallel coordinate. So in here, you can see that uh, this uh, color is, uh, is uh, this line is colored by the different uh, subpopulation or island, but you can also right click it. And also you can choose the another option of the color sorted by the fitting. So in here, you can see that the, 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 all the line will be uh, colored based on their uh, fitness value and and because there is no more uh, not like before you you have to see um, many of the, uh, all these light including the this uh, uh, polylight that including the parameters so the result part can be a little bit hard to tell so in this function uh, in this update now you can just focus on the value you recorded and the fitness value. So in here, you may be more easier to see the trade-off or, or the correlation between uh, uh, different parameters and, and the fitness. So this might help you easier to, uh, to analyze the result from the uh, numerical point of view. And uh, I guess uh, that's it. Uh, for the uh, this upgrade of the evil mass and I hope you enjoy it. and also looking for listening to your feedback and I will do my best to upgrade it if uh, if you have any good suggestion so uh, that's it for this video uh, thank you very much.